Hey, welcome back. In part one, I completed the build of this Vulex style cabinet. Now, I need to prime, paint, and install the electronics. I'll begin by first removing things I don't want to get paint on, and remove some parts that I'd rather paint separately. I'll then work on some much needed repairs. Some of these repairs are small and simple to do, while others may require a tad more attention. Next, I need to make those repairs blend in, and thus, the sanding process begins. I then clean up all the surfaces with the cheesecloth. I'm using Bin Primer by Zeiser. I'll give a final sanding just to knock down all the fuzziness and make everything nice and smooth. I first decide to put some painter's tape down, that way I can get some nice crisp lines, but you'll later see that I uh, turned this into a high anxiety process by being impatient and deciding to just go freehand. And now to offset the yellow with blue. Hmm. Now before you guys start in the comments, no, this is not a display case for Best Buy. Yes, I like Napa Auto Parts, but this isn't for that. Or anything else that has that blue and yellow color combination. Hmm. I guess there's a lot of things that have this same combination. But this will be slightly different. You'll, you'll understand in a minute. Just, just, just hold on. Everyone just calm down. Calm down. All right, let's talk about controls and buttons. So I went with this kit, which is linked in the description below, uh, for a number of reasons. One is I like how it's plug and play. I, I love that I don't have to fight with the connectors. Not that it's a big hassle on the, on the bigger brand ones, but you know, this, I like this connection type. Uh, I will say that getting the power in here on the controller was a little bit tricky. Uh, and that's necessary to get your LEDs to light up in the controller, which is a first for me. I've never had the actual controller light up. Um, the buttons you get are A, B, X, Y, L1, L2, R1, R2, start and select, which is perfect for emulating something like the Nintendo or Sega, which I know zero about, honest. So to attach the fans and the grill that came with the fans, remember this grill was attached, so I took it off. I'm not gonna use the screws that come with the fan. Uh, instead, I'm gonna use this style of screw here. Hey, it almost matches. Um, and the reason being is I want the screw to not only hold the grill in place and drill into the wood, but I also want it to drill into the plastic as well. So these are perfect. So first go ahead and line these up. All right, we're good. Fans are in place. I decided to add this latch, that way the back door doesn't open and slam onto the backside, because that's never happened before.
Next up, speakers. Here I'm attaching the controller encoders. I decided to make a slight change to the control area. I first needed to make the control top thinner. This way I could compensate for the plexiglass. I've recessed the controller screws so that everything can be nice and flush. Here you can see I have the plexiglass, then the decal, then the MDF. Yes, it would seem that I'm mad, but I need to sand this down so that I can begin the weathering process. This will be the base, and then I'll put on more of a wash down on top of this. And I'll use the more washed out colors to go on top of that. Rather than wipe, I'll dab. You know the good thing too, if this doesn't turn out well, Sand it, get the yellow paint, and paint it all over again. All right, now for some exposed metal. Lastly, I decided to make a logo that will go on the bottom of the cabinet. 